So, hello, dear friends. One, uh, again, one English version of the same uh, video the, uh, which I make uh, in German language, and I want also to make it in English language so the other people can understand. We have uh, today Kalatea medallion from family Roseo Picta. As you see, I have three here. I have a small one. Can I see it? This is the small one. I have two big ones. It's all this plant are from the same same plant. From one plant I made three. They are big now, you can see. Okay. Today I have some special subject. This is the yellow uh, leaves. Why the Calatea have yellow leaves, what is the problem, how you can solve it and how you can, um, how, how can you do something so you never need to be more um, alert about the yellow, yellow leaves. I have one here, she have this problem from yellow leaves, do you see, you can see this one. And this one also. The other leaves are just very nice and just normal. And you see every time when the Calatea have the yellow leaves, the, the yellow leaves starting from downstairs. Everything was starting from downstairs, yes, when the problem is lying downstairs, then is the problem inside, inside the pot. When you have but we don't have here, when you have some problems with big leaves from upstairs, you have like a yellow uh, or, the, or the brown or the something, you see the leaves are not, not, uh, not nice, then you have problem from, from outside. So you always know where is the problem. When you see the yellow leaf downstairs or the, you see some yellow upstairs, so you can... Uh, immediately immediately know where is the problem so you can solve it but you need to understand you don't need to be alert you don't need to panic and you don't need to doing in one second you see this yellow leaf and you say oh god what should i do no 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 panicking at all why this this plant exactly this one have the yellow leaves what is the problem you see i have this one pot and this pot coming inside, so she's like this in this pot. Yes. When you look, when you see my um, uh, my other video, you know that I recommend to put the water inside the pot, then put the color there inside, and leave it like this, so the plant can choose the side how much water does she need. In this special example, I will, I'm going to explain to you what is one from uh, one problem from so many problems why Calatea can have yellow leaves and this mostly is with water in, uh, in a relationship. Yes, it's everything is in a relationship with water. Normally yellow leaves is some problem with the water. What is this? This plant stays, this, she had a place beside the window, is like 18 degrees beside the window. When I watering this plant, I was giving water inside this pot, but I didn't give the right temperature. The water was cold. Then I put the calate inside, I put her on in, in this place beside the window with 18 degree and this water was called and beside the window was called and is not was enough warm so can so this water can be released as you see one time more now it's empty it's really really drained but the, but the zo soil is still moist, full moist, yes? 
this is why this color there have this yellow leaves. She wants to say to me, I'm too moist and uh, it's too cold. Yes, I know already when I see it, when I go, um, go to the window and I saw this yellow leaf, I already know what, what did I do and why she had it. And no panicking, yeah, no panicking in, in this cold time now when you not have heating, heat, or the, when you're not using heat uh, in this month, maybe in the December or the January, then is the situation different. Yes, this water which I put in this spot, when I put my heat on in my apartment, this water inside going to be warm. She going to dispense her herself and going to give the leaves the moist. Yes, I don't have it here the right one. She need to have some dense distance between, you know, so the water can, can, um, I don't know the right word, but it's just the right, uh, uh, dispense, yeah, when the warm water going to come in the leaves, I'm going to give them moist. Okay, my English is not the best one I see now. I have second example here, the same watering system now you can see eh? well, maybe is this the best example to see what do we do, do what do we have from downstairs you see i have one here coming inside outside the pot can we see it can you see it she need to be white white this color means the plant is healthy Yes, you see, she's white. See, dancing, yeah, is, is alive. Yeah, this means this plant is healthy. And she is really healthy. You can see everyone leave. This is the leaf from medallion. You can see in the middle is green. But when you see the young ones, this is one young. Then you can see in the middle, in the middle, okay, flashed. in the middle is still the purple color. This is the young leaves and the old leaves lose this purple color and they are only green. Okay, this is, the, this is the one example why the Calateas have a yellow leaves. It's always problem with the water. Yes, it's always a problem with the water. Too much water, too cold water. You need to see what is the position of your plants. But maybe this this come to you like too much complicated. You need to, to think so much and like this. But no, no, no. It's really is like uh, uh, like this. What uh, what do you use? Uh, learning through doing. You're going to know exactly what you did, and you're going to know exactly why. She have and now what is the solution? Whatever your calatea have a problem, and she became the yellow leaves. You stop watering immediately. You give all rest from water, what you whatever you have somewhere away, and leave leave it dry, dry. She going to have maybe one yellow uh, leaf more, or maybe one more, but you stop water yes you're not you're not going to put now take this calatea who have already some stress and some problems yes and then you put her in the another another soil on like this and you're making more and more stress for this plant no you, you leave it alone you take it outside this another pot leave it like this of the uh, of the of normal game of table or the I would say warm place so she can dry she's not going to be dead but if you leave it like this I would say one two three weeks and you don't do nothing maybe you're going to have some big problem but when you see when you see 
after one week you see it's a yellow leaf you can say okay something is with the water you already know something is with water when you, you then you can recap and say uh -huh, which is which time i i did watering okay did did water was cold oh i give you too much water i know you're already going to know so no stress no panic no no alert only learning through doing and this one or the two leaves not going to kill this plant. This plant have so many healthy leaves. So I stop watering, you see, empty, no water, only the soil is moist. Now, because the soil is too much moist, I, I reverse this pot like this. I'm putting, it's looking like this, you see? So this, this soil can dry now. In the pot is, is not, not too much place for the, um, for the, for, the, for this, uh, this air circulation. So we need more air circulation to dry. It's not only, you leave, you leave it like this. You're not picking this, this leaf away. You're not doing nothing. You don't mix. Exactly nothing. Only leave it. No water, no nothing. Leave it to dry. Maybe you see another leaf is going to be yellow, but this is not a problem. It's going to stop. Yes? The plant going to revive herself. Yes? Uh, what did I want to say more about watering? I'm going to show you this, this example. I don't think we can see good. Can we see good? You see, the soil is drained. Totally drained. See from downstairs? Do you see? These balls, the small balls I'm using for the watering, yes? is it's not the pot and the soil, it's the pot as is in these balls and then come in the soil. So the soil can take from this bubbles the moisture. Yes? And so also I put in water inside, I put in the quality inside and she decides how much water does she need. Never water from upside upstairs, always from downstairs. Yes? Um, maybe you're going to put this, uh, too much water, but this, this is also not a problem. You always can throw it, throw it away. Or when you see some yellow leaves like I have, you can stop watering and leave it, leave it dry. And when she is dry, after when this this leaf really, really yellow is on, you see he's dying. He's not dead. He's only changed the color, but he is not dead. We are not going to pick, pick, uh, uh, cut him down. Leave the leaves, whatever yellow, leave the leaves on this plant. So whatever problem is with the yellow leaves, and they're always coming from downstairs, you know you have problem in the soil, when you have problem with the moist. The soil is too moist, you need to stop watering and you need to leave your calatea to be dry. Not cutting nothing, not doing nothing, not changing soil, nothing. Only leave it dry. When you see some leaves, I don't have now, they are all, all just very nice and normal. When you have some, some problems, here or the like there or the there you see this the leaf leaves are not nice they have some mistake or the some some changing some diversion then you have another problem then this problem coming from upstairs this mean the moisture which you have around your plant is not good for your plant is maybe the place is too cold Maybe it's the place too dry. And this going to you're going to see of upstairs of your leaves.
yeah, then you know the problem coming from upstairs. It's not in the soil. It's environment. The place what you choose for your Calatea is not the right one. When you see something like this, then please change position. Search another position in your apartment or the, your home or the, whatever you're living. Find another uh, position and give her two weeks to see if he, she going to change or, the, or not. Okay? So, one more we have. Um... I would like to have a, so, a question so I can I can know I uh, I can know what what the, uh, which problem the uh, people have so I can make the videos exactly for this problem but the moist the the the, uh, the, the yellow leaves are um, I would say upstairs in the scale for the problems which people normally have with the calatheas and I had it also so much on. So, uh, it, it, after some time you're going to have experience when you're going to know exactly what happened and you know yellow leaves downstairs mean something is with water too much water or soil is moist doing nothing only leaving this plant in the same pot to dry whatever she ha going to have uh, one or the three yellow leaves more don't do nothing stop watering leave it dry i don't know one time the small one i i wanted to get exactly i wanted to show you how much dry is this one you can see the soil separating from the spot she's totally dry but see she is beautiful she don't have no signs where she say, okay, I'm thirsty. I need something. She thriving. See, she doesn't have no yellow leaves. Why? Because she's dry. She didn't have this uh, shock moment with the cold water. She was standing also the same place like another one beside window where it's cold. But she don't have yellow leaves because she was all the time dry. Dry. It's not important if it's cold. It's important not to be in the moist soil. Who cannot dry. So you see? Okay, you can, I can show it from downstairs. Did I show it? Oh yeah, I showed it already. So really really simple this exactly this example or the, this Calatea medallion is also a little bit maybe at first uh, not easy but after I would say one two three months after you have her at home and she uh, did do this process from adaptation she going to try and you're not going to have so much problem. Okay, yet now I have, look, I have these leaves upstairs. You see, you see this deformation like this. You see, this means something is very dry. Can we see it? And the focus is not the best one. You, you see now, this is only one leaf with this problem. And this means the environment from outside is not the right one. It's too dry. Here in the pot is too dry, no water. From outside, she didn't have also enough moist. Because another pl uh, other plants was also dry this is a problem with moisture from outside environment downside no yellow leaves yeah problem is not here problem is here okay this is this about what i wanted to to, uh, to speak about this leaves changing or the change or the deformation yes 
So what is the solution? Is to water this plant. One from solution uh, going to be to give the water to this plant so she can make the moisture for herself on for her leaves or the we can we can i would say take a little bit of water in one bottle and you can spray it away spray it upstairs or the, you can take the pot like this go into the ba uh, bathroom and give it a good bath yes everywhere she's going to love this so i hope you like this video i hope you did understand me i hope you you can learn something and i hope you're going to love your color tears like i do with or without yellow leaves so guys i wish you a happy uh, i wish you a nice day today we have a sunday I wanted to make the yesterday this video, but I had to do something else. So today is Sunday. I did make this video on the next one. I'm going to make also one second. Next one, English version going to be for the Calatea Zebrina. So we have also here, here the problems from yellow leaves. You can see already <laughs> the, the, the soil is too moist, yes? You can see the black color already, you know, okay, this is moist, yes? This is moist. And then I'm going to show, show you the position of the Calatea Zebrina. So you're going to know already when you see where she stands, you're going to know, okay, it's because of this and this. So... See, she has their uh, beautiful color. So, guys, we see us in the next video. Bye.